friends, I'm teacher Jennifer and welcome to Reading Extension. For today's activity, we are going to learn about new vocabulary words that we found in this book called Barbalina and Michelle. After we learn new vocabulary words, we are going to do a little activity where we get to make a butterfly. Are you guys excited? Well, let's get started. So friends, for our first vocabulary word, we have the word peered. Can you say peered? Peered. So peered means to look over or around. So we can see like the cat is looking like this, looking over. Yeah. So if we go back to our book, we can see right here. For Felina peered over the edge. So she was like kind of like peeking, huh? A little bit like peeking over the leaves so she can see the goose. Yeah, friends, good job. So for our next word, we have the word uncomfortable. So uncomfortable means to not feel well or feel uneasy. Yeah, so this girl is uncomfortable because maybe her stomach hurts. Yeah. So now let's look in the book where uncomfortable shows up. So here we can see that it says, I'm not sick, she told Marcel. Just a little uncomfortable. So Farfalina, right here, she told Marcel that she feels uncomfortable. She feels uncomfortable. I wonder why. Mm -hmm. So for our next word, we have the word recognize. So recognize means to know or remember someone from earlier time. Recognize. So if you go to the store and you see your friend, you're going to recognize her, huh? Because you're going to be like, oh, that's my friend from school. Recognize. Good job. So now let's move on to the book where it says recognize. So here on the bottom... We can see that Marcel says he looked at his reflection in the water. He hardly recognized himself. So Marcel was white. He was a white goose. And now he's like a brownish, grayish, blackish goose. Mm. So he doesn't recognize himself anymore. He doesn't know who he is. Our next word that we have is the word solitary. Can you say solitary? Solitary. So the word solitary means alone without anything or anyone. Solitary. Yeah. So you can see the little girl. She's alone by the water. Yeah. She's solitary. Good job. So if we go back to the book, we can see right here that Marcel, the goose, who was swimming in solitary circles, so he was just swimming alone in the pond. Yeah, solitary. Good job, friends. So our next word that we have is the word silent. Can you say silent? Silent. So silent is to be quiet or not make any noise. Silent. Shh. Silent, you see the boy, he's silent. Good job, friends. So in our book, we can see right here that Marcel, one morning the goose stopped his silent rounds and spoke to her. So Marcel stopped going around in circles. As you've seen previously on the other page, you've seen that Marcel was going in circles, right? And now he stopped and he's talking to Farfalina. Yeah, good job, friends. So our last word for today is the word vanished. Can you say vanished? vanished so vanished means to disappear or out of sight so you can see that the road is going but once it gets to right here the road vanishes it's vanished it disappears we can't see it anymore but if you actually go on the road the road is still going to be there it's just right now our eyes only see up to right here because the road gets vanished good job friends so now in our book we can see right here, it says, I know how you feel, he said. I lost a friend too. She just vanished into thin air. 
So Marcel was telling Farfanina that her his old friend vanished. Yeah, vanished, disappear. Good job, friends. So friends, that was all the vocabulary words that I have today. So now let's move on to a little activity where we get to make a butterfly. Hi friends. So now that we move to a different scenario, we are going to make our butterfly. So our materials that we need for today are markers, a pen or a pencil to outline your hand, a glue to glue down things, a popsicle stick and then I have these stickers right here that I want to add to my butterfly but you guys can add anything you guys would like and then of course I have my purple construction paper because I want my butterfly to be purple so oh and one more thing I have some toothpicks that I cut in half so they can be my antenna so friends now let's get started so what you will need to do first is you will need to grab your construction paper and we are going to outline our hand. But we need to only outline these four fingers. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to place my hand like this so I can make a wing out of them and I'm going to trace this. So let me grab my pin and trace it. Okay friends, so I did the two of my hands. So I have one wing right here. So I'm just gonna connect it. So let me connect it. So I connected it. So that's gonna be one of our wing and this is gonna be our other wing. So let me cut them out and I'll be right back. So friends, I cut out my wings. So I had to move to a different place just so I can get better lighting so you guys can see this better. So here are my wings that I'm going to stick on my popsicle stick like this. But first we need to color the popsicle stick. So with our markers, we are going to color them. So I think I want to grab maybe the orange and just color it in. So now that I have my orange right here, I am going to grab maybe my purple and do some cool designs on them. So here is how my popsicle stick looks like. I did some squigglies and now I'm going to glue it together. So I'm going to grab my wings and I'm going to place them like this this and then I'm going to place this in the middle so it should look something like this so now that we have our wings and I our popsicle stick on we are going to add our antennas so I got these little um, q-tips that I cut in half so they were like together and I cut them in half and I'm going to color these and then I'm going to stick them on up here like that So friends, now I added my antennas on the top. So now I am going to decorate the wings and then I'll be right back. This is what I have so far. 
you can see the hearts and stuff so now that i got my little materials that i want to add on i'm going to add some on So I just added just some of the little rhinestones right here in the middle down, but this is my butterfly. So friends, I hope you guys enjoyed doing this butterfly with me. This is a very easy and simple butterfly you can do with anything that you have in your house. So now let's move on to let's find out about it with teacher Michelle and the rest of the teachers. Bye everyone.